Greetings in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, my grade 11. Today, we are going to look at Lesson 9, St. Paul, the example to Christians. But God who set me apart from birth and called me by His grace was pleased to reveal His Son in me so that I might preach him among the Gentiles. Galatians chapter 1 verse 15. Saint Paul the Apostle pray for us. Let's have a look into part 2 of Saint Paul the Apostle. The great apostle who did such a beautiful gospel work for extending the kingdom of Christ. Saint Paul, the model of missionaries, go into the entire world and proclaim the good news to the whole creation. Mark chapter 16 verse 15. Duty of the disciple, proclaim the gospel of the salvation to all the people till the end of the world. He dedicated his life and was an inspiration to all other missionaries, following out the special qualities of the missionary leadership of Saint Paul. The Enthusiastic Missionary Special Qualities of the Missionary Leadership of Saint Paul Spiritual enthusiasm forced him to persecute Christians when he was a member of the Jewish religion. Church is a place specially set apart and sanctified for God. A priest is set apart for God. He is set apart for the proclamation of the good news. When the facilities were so limited, he traveled long distances to proclaim the gospel of Jesus. Word of God has the creative strength sharper than the double-edged sword. When we proclaim the word of God, it becomes lively and fruitful, and it sounds like the real voice of God. So as the greatest missionary of the kingdom of Christ, he set apart his life for the proclamation of the good news. Irrespective of the adversities, and unfavorable circumstances that he had to face. He traveled long distances to proclaim the gospel of Jesus. And the word of God has given him creative strength and his words about Christ was sharper than the double-edged sword. And he proclaimed the word of God in a very lively and fruitful manner that it sounded like the real voice of God. The courage that does not yield. Courage, courage helped, to grow, helped to the growth of the church. The courage to stand up for the truth regardless of who is involved. Synod of Jerusalem. Lord of Jews received baptism after the Pentecost. They will not be saved unless they are circumcised. He argued that a person is justified not by the works of the law, but through the faith in Jesus Christ. Galatians chapter 2 verse 16. He was not afraid to challenge Peter as well as other apostles. According to Paul, the two-faced behavior of Peter was not helping the spread of gospel at all. Unfortunately, he had a clash with Saint Peter regarding circumcision and salvation was only given for the Jews who got circumcised. Peter was a little bit reluctant in admitting the fact that even the Gentiles can have salvation. But Paul stood for that. He knew that a lot of people from around the world, from the new Ken corner of the world, they're going to be attracted to the gospel. 
they might not have received circumcision but he made sure that they were not exempted from the grace he made sure that salvation is not based on the law but it is based on the faith in Jesus Christ his courage is a symbol of bearing witness to the truth and his firm conviction suffering for the sake of the gospel we can't find another disciple of Christ who took sufferings like saint paul did saint paul had suffered much in proclaiming the gospel second corinthians verses chapter 11 verses 21 to 29 reveal his sufferings he found all the sufferings as blessings for me for to me living is christ and dying is gain philippians chapter 121 He is aware that the proclamation of the gospel is a task with which he is entrusted. He did not count his life of any value to himself, decided to fulfill the message he received from Jesus Christ. Now I rejoice in my suffering for you, and I am completing in my flesh what is lacking in Christ's afflictions for his body, that is, the church. Colossians chapter 1 verses verse 24 Paul's willingness to suffer for the kingdom of Christ was incredible He did not consider his life worthy enough to be counted against the kingdom of God That was his love towards Christ That was his conviction about what he received from Jesus the openness of life the heart of saint paul is like a book combined with many diaries his life is an open one anyone can open and read any time nothing in his life to hide when he refers to his life he often says you know god knows but never says that i know about my life Paul had no individuality other than what people what the people knew in reality there is only one Paul his life was an open book which could be read by anybody who got attracted by his zealous for the kingdom of god he did not hide anything from them he did not conceal anything he was sure to admit about his own weaknesses he was sure to admit that he bears the grace in the earthen veil and at any time it can be damaged or it can be destroyed if he doesn't take care of that he was ready to admit that fact such an open man with his life so open to the people to read that they may be inspired by his vision warm friendship deep relationship with all kinds of people intellectual ability paul got his basic education in his infancy and youth he desired to become a rabbi he studied for 7 years of higher education under gamaliel he was born in the city of tarsus He knows Greek language, also understood the Greek thoughts and interpretation. As a Pharisee, he got the knowledge about the Jewish law. Paul has the ability to interpret the mystery of Christ clearly and deeply to the Jew or Greek, to the wise or ordinary man in a manner that they could understand. Paul preaches to idol worshippers in Athens, spotting an altar dedicated to an unknown god. Paul fearlessly speaks of the true God who has remained unknown to them and many received salvation. It is his intellectual skill that brought the synod of Jerusalem to the decision that circumcision is not necessary for the Gentiles to become Christians. Because of that, Christian religion grew up very fast and strongly among the Gentiles. Paul centered his work 
in the important cities of the ancient world he knows that once you defeated the cities the villages will automatically surrender if the gospel reaches rome the capital of the world it will reach the whole world with this idea he went to rome as a prisoner and proclaimed the gospel there in the pret gospel of jesus to the modern generation we need people like paul younger generation should promote great enthusiasm and interest in the religious affairs with the help of their parents paul always considered and always had given importance to what jesus said he was so adamant that salvation should reach to the nook and corner of the world he was so adamant that it should not be centered among jews alone he was so adamant that it should be the right of each and every citizen on earth one who sides with the poor great interest to side with the poor during his missionary travels the interest of paul towards the poor had influenced him very much in his service he worked hard to help the poor we must support the weak remember the words of lord jesus it is more blessed to give than receive i remind you these words of lord acts 20 verses 34 and 35 he also raised funds from different church communities that could afford to help the poor he showed interest in helping the people who were lacking in knowledge paul's missionary work to the poor first considered their basic needs he knew that without helping the man to accomplish and to achieve what all things are necessary for his basic life he won't be able to flee pay attention to the word of god preaching gospel without remuneration the services of the rabbis as advisers were not allowed to accept any remuneration they have to earn income by doing work status of rabbi was no profession for income he learned tent work to earn his livelihood he worked with his own hand to support himself and his friends he argues that based on common justice people who works has the right to receive remuneration and to receive remuneration for his spiritual service as well but he left out that right intending to receive only the satisfaction for preaching the gospel he was sure that gospel or missionary work should not be used for gain or profit he said that he should work in order to earn money to support himself and his friends that was a great message especially for the missionary workers in the modern era proclaiming the gospel without remuneration is a challenge to the modern proclaimers of the good news considering proclamation of gospel as a business and a means of getting wealth is the greatest mistake we can also see a lot of other qualities in him he is ready to undergo exceptions in trivial matters the leadership that cracks father mother or brother one who gave importance to join actions one who submitted fully for god Conclusion Paul is a living example to each individual who is a Christian through baptism and those who are called for the service of the gospel we have the obligation to proclaim the gospel without expecting any personal gain Paul lives in the hearts of people through his epistles theological thoughts people still read the epistles mediate and make use for an explanation and receive spiritual strength from them saint paul is an example and a challenge to all missionaries both living and yet to come the foundation of the missionary activity is to love as a true christian 
to love Jesus and love proving the gospel in our own homes, workplaces, communities, and with our neighbors. When we do missionary services, our activities will be more blessed. Paul rather take his mission work as to love the gospel than to preach the gospel. That would be the great message that he ever left for people like us. Questions and answers are given out here for you to have some idea regarding what you have read and Let's conclude this beautiful part with a prayer. Let us pray. God, I pray on behalf of all the missionaries spread across the world. I pray for their protection and also that they are filled with a fresh wind of your spirit to do your work. 